presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hey, Robert, how you doing, man? Yes, and thank you for taking my call. I wanted to Morning. let you know that I've been a subscriber for a couple of years, just different members of your team, and I really enjoy it. But really the reason I'm calling is to express my sincerest gratitude for you providing that information information yesterday on the small business grant. I'm a small business owner and primary breadwinner for my family. And if I can get that money, it's going to really mean a lot to my family. So that's awesome. Thank you for uh, taking the time to do that. No, uh, well, listen, man, we appreciate you growling and proud with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> well, welcome, folks. And you get a small growl here because I had a vicious uh, sore throat, folks. That was, was, I was part of it. And then uh, yesterday, uh, Bridget and I, actually, we have a brand new German Shepherd that just came in from Germany. So we had to do a road trip to uh, Atlanta. He flew in 11 weeks old from Frankfurt to Atlanta. But the reason I was out was most, well, well was the sore throat. Anyway, um, I'm back, but I can't growl as loud, that's for sure. I'll talk as loud. Be impeccable with your word. Manifest your true intentions. Regardless of what language you speak, your intent will be manifested through the word. What you dream, what you feel, and what you really are will be manifested through what you say each and every day. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 231, NASDAQ's off 198, SP's off 59. Gold, gold contract down $26.80, trading at 1940 an ounce. We have silver down 14 cents, $23.69 an ounce. Platinum off $16.90, 932 an ounce. Light sweet crude, flat, $89.56 a barrel, notes and bonds. You get the 10-year note, trading down 25 ticks, 108.14. That 10-year is yielding right now 4.470. 4 4 uh, 30-year, down two full points plus 10 ticks at 116.08. And then if we go look at King Dollar, King Dollar is up 24 ticks, trading 105, 351. Euro's at 106, Yen's trading 147, British Pound's at uh, 122 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. Now, in the world of the futures, we're already broken the low. You take a look at this. You get a wide bar, too. Okay, there's the low. You're breaking the low. And what's going to be interesting, we got our man Tim Wood coming on. But look at this. This is, <laughs> this is not good for a bounce. That's the arms. So right now, there's no fear. 1.04 arms reading, okay? When you get 1.04, that means there's just as much buying on the left-hand side of the aisle as to the right-hand side. <laughs> That's, you normally don't get that, you know, when you basically have come down, you know, yeah, they get the NASDAQ down 1.4%, you get the S&Ps off 1.1, then the Dow is off uh, 0.64. Gold, we go take a look at the gold market out here. Gold is coming into two different signs of strength. Now, you're gonna have the volume, meaning we're gonna have a volume expansion. Yesterday, and a lot of the gold stocks, almost every gold stock, actually the S&P did this too. You actually went to a higher high, gave it up on price. And when that happens is that most times you're right back up there. So if we take a look at this gold contract, you're going to see yesterday we did 230,000 contracts. Today you're doing 213, you're down $26. Well, you're coming into the 200,000 from last week as well as another 170,000 from a few weeks ago. So we'll see if we get that rejection of lower price. We go to the dollar, we take a look at, well, no, let's go to the NQs first. We go look at the NQs. What we have inside the NQs. Now the NQs, this is how you can tell the NQs are stronger than the S&P. You can see the NQs haven't busted out its lows yet. You know, bottom line is that the 
NQs are down 240, but that, that low that we're talking about in the NQs is uh, 14,792, and we're at nine seven. And we're at 14,907. We go to the Let's go to the note and bond market because this is a big move by the 10-year for sure. So you had Powell come out yesterday. Bottom line, you know, market basically traded sideways. That, that being said, market woke up this morning and says, man, I want lower price, meaning the bond market. Now, if we take a look at the larger picture inside this 10-year, right now, I'm gonna, I'll string these together. We're, we're at 108. 14. I pull this back. I had to pull this back 30 years. <laughs> it's, it's pretty wild. So, what you have is this is that we went below the swing from last year, which is the 108.26. The, the next level is this, yeah, it's, it's 104. 34. We go to 104.34, man. <laughs> that 10-year and these rates, uh, that, that would be another hike. That's, that's how it works. We go to the dollar. We take a look at the dollar. And the dollar is the big wild card out here, folks. Has been, is, still continues to be. If you take a look at the dollar, you're going to see the setup. Yesterday, it was pretty amazing that it goes right up to where... You know, you'd have a false break top side. You came down 200 ticks below the swing point, and then it just said, see you, don't want to be here. As soon as Paul started talking, goes top side. Now, today, what you have again is an inverted hammer. So it's like, okay, this number's still in play. And, you know, we'll take a look at some of the heaviest stocks inside the NASDAQ. You got... Uh, Delta is, uh, no, Dollar Tree is trading down 4.5%. Lucid, the car company, is 4.5%. AMD is 4%. Inside of the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow, put this up point wise. You only have three stocks that have any green in them. United Health is the only stock that's given the Dow anything. We're down 252. United Health is giving it 71 positive points. Taken away from it, you get minus 33 for. Caterpillar, minus 33 for Goldman, minus uh, 31 for Salesforce, and minus 28 for McDonald's. We're going to take a look at the 30-year. Now, this gets interesting. So 30-year, you talk about USA. Yeah. So this is down 2 points and 10 ticks, also blowing that bottom up. You know, so if we do US 1, let's see where this one's hitting. A US 1, what happens, folks, is that that's a generic string together of a charge that I can bring back. In this case, I can bring it back 50 years, actually. I'm going to go 30 right now. Pull this baby up. Okay, so. 116. Yeah, you're right around there, 116, 113. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Adding stock options to your portfolio can be a major game changer. But the full complexities of these instruments can oftentimes elude even the most experienced traders. Whether you're a seasoned trader looking to sharpen your knowledge on options or you're completely new to the market, Teddy Kekstat is here to help. On Wednesday, September 27th, from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Teddy is hosting a live stream that will teach you how to capitalize on time with calendar stock option spreads. Teddy will also go over how to trade stocks and other market movements without large capital allocation, how to expand portfolio diversification, how to maximize potential returns, basic entry and exit techniques, and more. If that wasn't enough of a reason to attend, Teddy will also be answering all questions live. If you're serious about making money in this market, head over to the front page of TFNN.com today to sign up for Teddy's live stream. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow investors right now are trading down at 268. You got the Nasdaq off 215. S&P's are down 63. And if we go take a look at the indice volume out here today, you take a look at it and you're at 421. Now, it gets interesting, folks. I wasn't here last Friday. You know, but that big number on Friday inside of the option marketplace was huge. 3.4 billion inside the NYSE. And then when we do the NASDAQ composite, it was 8.453 billion. And what I've found, whether it is option expiration or not, if the bottom line is if you're coming down with volume, even on op option expiration, until you can get a rejection of lower price, you are going lower. If we were going higher and it was op option expiration, bottom line, it would just be the opposite way. So bottom line is that, uh, you know, this market right now looks like it wants to take another leg because the, the S&P is in general, you know, this S&P, the further it gets away from the break, there's not much in between you know, where we are, well, of the 4397. So right now you're at 4384. You know, if it can save itself by the end of the day, it'll be a different situation. Because your next leg, you know, you're coming into strength. Your next leg is really down there at like the 40, 43, was it? Four? God, it'd be nice if I could see. 4328, well, it's 4328. It's not that far down, actually. Yeah, let me put this over here so you can see this one. You know, your next leg is laying right here. You can see you're like in limbo land in between this level here. And if we go look at the NQs, you can see that there is a difference in the NQs. So the NQs, what you have with the NQs here is that they haven't reached that low yet. Let's get over to my man, Mr. Tim Wood, as we do every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget, folks, you can reach Tim every trading day at ord-oracle.com. That's ord-oracle.com. Tim Wood, what's going on? Well, I sent you over some charts. Uh, we can cover the S and P's first, or we can look at the the gold issues. Whatever you want to uh, do, we got a market. That's for sure. 
Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, it's, it's start with the S or uh, S, start with the goal. I guess chart number one. Okay. So, and this is kind of a repeat. This looks at the bigger picture. I know. Uh, yeah. GDX, GDX is off. It's probably the market. You know, S and P's are off. So it's probably affect nature. But anyhow, in a nutshell, uh, this is the uh, uh, daily bullish percent index for the gold miners index slash GDX. So it's a ratio. Yes. In the top window is the uh, uh, 28 period RSI for this ratio. So when it falls below uh, 30, then closes above 30, usually the bottom's in. And all those blue lines going back to, uh, uh, looks like about mid-2016, shows the times when that condition happened. And there was uh, just one failure back in 2016. All of them, uh, you know, came near uh, near or at uh, major lows. Yes. And usually the, the signals in, you have to go below 30, then you have to close above 30. When you do that, okay. that suggests the, bo the bottom's in. So this happened probably, uh, you know, a good month ago. I didn't, yeah. you know, it was probably yes. September. Uh, well, this is September, maybe August, that signal was generated. Okay. And the market has worked higher here, so I'm thinking, um Using markets, especially the gold markets, it really has to have a washout move to the downside. They have to get everybody on one side of the fence. Right. And, and if you don't get everybody on one side of the fence, it's usually not a bottom. And this indicator helps to figure out if they all got on one side of the fence. Yes. So you want to get on the other side of the fence. So I'm thinking the bottom's in on the uh, uh, GDX. So here's, here's an, uh, let's go to chart two. Okay. And uh, this chart goes back to 1984. And the middle chart is the uh, monthly XAU gold ratio. And so, um, and what I, I did, I, I did some other stuff, but it seems what works best is the slow stochastics of that ratio. And so when this ratio is plummeting, uh, then the slow stochastic, slow stochastic gets at a very low level. But when the, this ratio is plumbing, that means gold stocks are, are going a lot down a lot faster than gold is. Okay. So uh, usually when the, this ratio is going down, it's actually a bearish sign. But when it goes down too fast, it's a bullish sign. And so when the uh, slow stochastic gets down around minus 10 and turns up, you're usually looking at, a major low, and all those blue lines across the chart are times when that happened. Okay, you know it came at the 2000 low. It came at the uh, uh, there was a minor low in 2012. Came at the 2016 low. Uh, came again in and um, can't quite read that, but it looks like about uh, 2018, and then again it came in uh, two, you know. Currently, actually, it came in in October 2022, the last time we had that, and that that was last year. So that picked out a major low. So in these signals are multi-years. And if you look at most of them, you know, uh, these are big time frames because you're looking at a, a monthly chart. Right. So, um, so, I'm, so I'm thinking on a bigger time frame, I'm thinking something big is going on here. Uh, the XAU ratio really hasn't, you know, if you look at the middle chart, it really hasn't performed well to the upside. It just kept uh, going down hard, then bouncing up and going down hard. And it's done it last three times, going back to, uh, look like about, what, 2020 or something. So so I'm thinking this ratio on the bigger time frames, it just really sold out. Um, but anyhow, that, that's another major signal. It gave a signal back last October. In my opinion, that's the signal still in force. It goes out of force when the when the slow stochastic gets above uh, uh, plus ninety, and the, and those are the red lines across the chart. I see. Okay. So I'm thinking, yeah. So I'm thinking that's probably where we're going to go. We go down to blood, minus, you know, uh, plus ten to plus ninety. So I'm thinking we got a uh, quite a ways to go here. Uh, so. Um, we can go to the last chart. We got time. Oh yeah, we get. Uh, so hold it. We were only on the second chart. Do you want me? Um, 
Go to, well, unless you got qu- questions here, we can we can. No, talk no, no, about no. Uh, you want me to skip the third chart? Is is actually the short term chart of okay? GDR. So then I have the last chart. Well, the last chart's the six six, six inch. Uh, hold on. You want the third chart, right? I have the third chart. Yeah, third yeah. chart. Yeah, yeah third good. chart, rather. Yeah. Okay, so, I have it. Yep. Okay. Well, anyhow, this chart is just a short term chart. So, so the the major two charts. Of the previous ones are looking at the great big time frames. Yep. And and this chart. All right. I hear the music. That's cool. Just stay right there. Stay right there, folks. Tim and I are coming right back. We're, gonna be, we're talking uh, gold first. We're going to go from gold into the S and P 500, which is uh, trading down 65 points right now. Stay right there, Tim and I. Come right back, folks. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Adding stock options to your portfolio can be a major game changer, but the full complexities of these instruments can oftentimes elude even the most experienced traders. Whether you're a seasoned trader looking to sharpen your knowledge on options or you're completely new to the market, Teddy Kekstat is here to help. On Wednesday, September 27th from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Teddy is hosting a live stream that will teach you how to capitalize on time with calendar stock option spreads. Teddy will also go over how to trade stocks and other market movements without large capital allocation, how to expand portfolio diversification, how to maximize potential returns, basic entry and exit techniques, and more. If that wasn't enough of a reason to attend, Teddy will also be answering all questions live. If you're serious about making money in this market, head over to the front page of TFNN.com today to sign up for Teddy's live stream. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tim and Tom O'Brien, we do appreciate your growl and a problem with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading down 323. NASDAQ is off 215. S&Ps are down 67. We have gold down 26. And we are talking uh, right now uh, the GDX. Okay, Tim. Right. Yeah, okay, GDX. Uh, yeah, go to the third chart. Yeah. And this is just a short-term chart. Uh, the bottom window is the 18-day average of the up-down volume. Next higher window is the uh, GDX advanced decline 18-day uh, average. And um, so anyhow, anything above the the... The blue area is when both indicators are above minus 10, and the uh, 
pink areas are when both indicators are below minus 10. Yes. And even though the market's off a couple, you know, over 2%, 2.5% right now, this indicator is still above or still in the blue area. So I'm thinking it's just, just noise. But That's interesting, If you look huh? here. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's, it's, it is what it is. You know, actually, if you go back and look at the, you know, the uh, May high, I thought that was pretty good. You know, the both charts caught most of that rally up. Then the uh, GDX made a double top there. Right. And both indicators went right below minus 10. Right. Uh, so, and now we're making a double top. You know, last week or even this week, we tested the previous high we had in uh, end of August. And both indicators made higher highs. So that's a bullish divergence. So yes. I don't think this is a, a, a top of any consequence. And if you kind of look at the volume charts there compared to the previous highs, you know, it looks like we broke the previous highs in higher volume. So you, you can have pullbacks, but this is probably going to be short lived, in my opinion. We'll start, we'll, we'll break above last week's highs and, and uh, just keep kind of staggering higher here. So, in my opinion, you know, the whole thing looks actually pretty good. So, nice. I'm not saying tomorrow's okay. going to be an update. Oh, no, I get it. In I general, get this it. market's going to work higher. I get it. Okay, so let's talk this S&P. There we All go. Right, S&Ps. Uh, chart, okay, chart number four. Yes. This chart goes back a long time, back to mid-2014. And the uh, bottom window is the 21-day uh, average of the CBOE uh, uh, equity put call ratio reading. And the next higher window is the uh, five-day equity put call ratio reading. And uh, intermediate term lows form when when uh, the bottom one, which is a 21 day, gets above uh, about 75, and on the five day it gets above uh, 80. And right now, or well, at least last couple of days, both of them are above their bullish readings. Uh, so we're pounding out an intermediate term low. And in where, where exactly is it? Uh, you know, I, I think we're probably days away. You know, I thought well, October we could probably see a retest. I'm not sure how October is going to work out, but on a, on a intermediate term basis, probably you could buy here. And even though you could see some short term pain, maybe over the next, you know, several days, this is probably a, not too far away from a intermediate term low forming in this range. Uh, so, but, hey, you Tim. know, that's the seminar indicator. Yep. It doesn't say anything about support and resistance it tells you what the uh, equity put call ratio readings are right now right. uh they're basically both in bullish territory okay now you flip to chart five yes okay chart five bottoms always form on panic if you right. don't have panic you don't have a bottom the top window is the uh, 10 day average of the trend and the last you know the, the shaded areas I noted that when the 10-day trend gets above 1.2, that's when panic in the markets occur, and that's where all those pink areas are are right. defined. And, and so we've been uh, actually we picked out that low on your radio and show. They, we, yep. we kept saying yes. it went sideways for about you know 11 months, and finally did break out, and and now we've gone up. Now we need the 10-day trend to get back above 1.2 before you can expect the next low to form. Well, as of yesterday's close, we're 1.05. That's not high enough yet uh, to, to indicate a bottom's forming. You know, if you look over the last, actually, three days of trend, you got a trend yesterday, 1.27, day before 1.16, and day before that, 1.61. So over the last three days, not counting today, you're getting the trends up around 1.2. So you need a 10-day trend to get up around 1.2. Right. So we're going to have some possibly pain over the next couple of weeks to finish that off. But it's probably going to be pretty close to the, in the current time, in the current price range, in my view. I thought we might pull back to 420 at one point on the SPYs. I'm thinking... You know, maybe four theory is probably going to be it, but time will tell. But intermediate term wise, we're not quite there yet. I think next week, if we 
you know, if we bounce, come back down, we may get to that trend of 1.2, and that'd be the time I'd start flipping in and turn bullish because I think we're going to go into a a year end rally. You know what's um, amazing, Tim, is that today, I mean, you're down pretty hard today, and yep. you know when I was first started the show, you know the trend right now is at 1.08. When I started the show, the trend was at 1.04. It's like there's zero fear here, man. I mean, it's like. How do, how do you, you know, well, you, you, you're down hard, but yet no one is worried, which is pretty wild, man. Yeah. Well, what what trend reading are you getting it from? Uh, stock charts or? Bloomberg. I got a trend right. Which, from who? Bloomberg. Bloomberg, okay. I got a trend 1.28. Oh, interesting. Um, yeah, it, this is uh, what, um, uh, think or swim. That's okay, well, I'll check. I have Think of Swim also. I'll check Think of Swim. But today I have the low, I have it trading in 109 right now, the low of the day of 0.67, the high of 1.14. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Well, what, but that's whatever. all right. I've, I've been because using uh, that, no, the Think cool, or Swim the, far as the ticks and creams. Well, here. Well, that's, that's flipped to the last chart just to show you some. No, no, what, and I just want to get this on. straight with the, with the clients, too. So what happens here, folks, is this. Tim has Think or Swim. So if you have Think or Swim, the bottom line, just keep using it because that's what he's done the work on. It, 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 that's correct, That's correct, Tim, right? It's, yeah, that's yeah. why I did my work so, on it. So right. if you have that, folks, do the work on that because I'll do, I'll do the same thing because that's what ends up happening with you know some of these feeds anyway. So that's, that's the bottom line. Okay, so I'm, I'm, at yeah. the, I'm at the next chart. All right, chart. So here's where we are right now. And uh, all that blue section, yep. um, uh, I did this chart earlier, and all that blue section, you should see, uh, I, I, I put uh, in blue the times that trend closed above 1.2 and the ticks closed below minus 200. Yes. And it's all coming in, you know, pretty close to where we are right now, uh, all the way up to about 445. So I'm thinking this is a base building problem. So I'm thinking we're going to bounce probably – shortly you know probably not this week but probably next week then we'll probably come back down again the only reason why i say that because we need the trend the 10-day trend to get up to 1.2 area to, to qualify as a uh, intermediate term bottom and the bottom window as of yesterday's closing how we come in at 1.05 yeah just, so just stay right there we're gonna do probably not the one to chase no i'm with you just stay right there tim uh, Tim Moore, Tom O'Brien, we do appreciate the growl and the problem with us out here. We're going to be right back, folks. We're still going to talk the S&P. We have the Dow Industrials down 314, Nasdaq's off 208, S&P's down 64. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tom O'Brien, Tim Wood. We do appreciate your growl and prowl with us out here. You can reach Tim, folks, every trading day. It's a great newsletter at ord-oracle.com. That's ord-oracle.com. And hey, Tim, the reason I haven't been with you is that, man, I got a vicious... Um, sore throat and then okay and then uh but yesterday bridget and i we picked up a german shepherd from germany <laughs> so we were on a road oh. trip yesterday yeah so oh good it's great to be back how are you feeling now pretty good or better i i am i just can't uh, talk loud but i feel okay. great compared to what i felt i didn't feel bad but you know like when you get a sore throat you can't even talk man it's crazy you know? Yeah. So let's let's. Yeah, talk, let, I talked to uh, Jacob yesterday uh, or Tuesday, I guess yes. it was, and it says you're out, and so. So but, uh, so like right now, Tim, we have the spies at four thirty two, right? You know, you, you're teaching us that we know we we need that this trend to get up over the you know the, at one twenty one point two. So what are you figuring with the the spy? Do you think this thing is going to get down to the four twenty area or something? Uh, at one time, I, I thought it, it might, because yeah. um, that's pretty much the previous highs down in 420. Right. But it depends where all the panic shows up at. Right. And that's where support, you know, comes in. Right. Um, but we have no panic so, today. That's why I'm asking, I guess. You know what I mean? It's like you're down at 65 well, S&P points and, you know, well, well, you know, let me ask you this. Do you think we do have panic today? Because I know that you said we are at 1.2 on the Think of Swim platform. So do you feel like there's some panic today? Right, right. But let's go. Let's go to back to uh, chart number six there. Okay, here we go. And, I got it. Yep. Okay, so I listed all those panic uh, tenant uh, uh, trend and tick readings, and that's all about that blue area. Yes. So that's where all those uh, panic showed up at. Sometimes you get a little bit below those those levels, but if if if, if the ten and uh, the trend and tick did not show any panic in those levels, or very little of it then I would say, now nah, we're probably going to go to back down to 420. But because over, you know, all in that price range, in that blue price range, there's all that panic in there. Right. So eventually, uh, I think this is going to be the sport area is what I'm thinking is going to happen is we're, we're probably, you know, probably bounce next week, that's my opinion. Yes. And, uh, and we go up and we come back down again. And the only reason why I'm saying that because this thing needs more time and panic readings to get that trend to 1.2. Okay. So, um, but price-wise, I think we're pretty much there. I get That's it. How I'm I get it. it. Because, because if you look at you know chart number six, there's a lot of panic in that region in between uh, 430. What, uh, what about 435 to give or take 445. Right. And if you go if you go back to uh, chart uh five just real quick yes i got it okay you know we, we had panic between uh, 365 to 390 you know a couple times we busted below that level but that's where all the panic occurred that's where all the 10 or that uh, trend and tick rings all occurred between 365 to 390 and i'm thinking this is a similar situation 
and we're breaking a little bit below that level, but I, I don't think we got enough, um, I guess, power because panic's already present. We already got uh, panic. Can the market continue to panic, push lower? Maybe, but it'd be unusual. So I'm, I'm thinking we got enough in this region. I, you know, it's on the bigger time frames. I think you could buy here and be safe, but I think you'll see a bounce up. Uh, then another trend, you know, another uh, decline, probably around close to low, this level, and the trend and trick, uh, the trend and ticks will continue to be high, you know, over a ten day period. And that gives that reading of one point two, if you get what I mean. We don't have enough days, I guess. What I'm saying, yes, of panic reading uh, to get to, to get to one point two. So that's why I'm thinking there's a bounce. Then another decline, the next decline will probably have in the same region, I would think. The, the trend will get up to 1.2, and that's when uh, the, the bottom is. And That'll really drive people crazy is, because is you, if, you, if, we, if we end up getting a bounce out of here, people say, oh, I missed the bounce. Then they get in. It comes back down to test again, right? They get out right, again. That's what I'm thinking. Right, exactly. No, I, I, I get it. Yeah. I get it, man. <laughs> yeah, so it's... You know, the, the 10 day is actually two weeks of trading. Yes, and it that's is. Two weeks of right. ugliness. Right. That's what it amounts to. Right. So, uh, you know, one week of ugliness is not enough. You need two. And if you can get through, you know, if you get to 21 day up there, too, which is ideal, if you go back to chart number five. Yep. Uh, uh, yes. The okay. middle window is the 21 day. Okay. Uh, so that's the month. Uh, 21 days in a uh, That's correct. days in a yeah. month. So that was a pretty solid base because the 21 day also got to 1.2 on that uh, base billing period. That's a lot of selling on 21 so, days. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot, a lot of selling. So, and you know, and normally, you know, if you go back to Weiss Coffee, if, if you got a yes. year of base, normally you get a year of rally. Right. If you got one, one uh, uh, base of a month of base billing, then you maybe get a rally of a month. So in a bigger time frame, so we broke out of this. This is uh, you know chart number five. We broke out of this trading range back in April May type uh, range, and that base was 11 months old. So that implies we're going to, in general, rally all the way into probably uh, March April of next year. That's what I'm thinking. If you do the wife stop stuff, and this sideways move we got going on right now that started in. Um, what August? You know, it's kind of high in August. We've been going sideways now since you know we're almost getting into October. So a good solid you know two three months here. We're due for another rally to begin. Yeah, it's a great so point. I, I think that, this is just an ABC down. That's all it is. Yeah, I, I just to I, to I just put up that base building that consolidation that we had. That's quite that was quite a wide consolidation too. I mean, you know. Bottom line is that uh, talk about some price spread out there, but a long period of time, there's no doubt about it. So this is going to get yeah. really intriguing, you know, particularly, you know, you can see if we just go back to the gold market for a second, you know, they always, right. as Tim said earlier, folks, they always love to jam the gold market. And just when you think it's going to take off again, they jam it again. When I woke up this morning, I saw this down and I said, oh, my God, they're going to jam it again. And, you know, they didn't get to the swing point. The thing that's intriguing, we had the contract get to 1933. And, you know, there's some volume on it. Uh, but the swing, you know, the bottom line, it rejected the 1933. Well, the 1921 is the swing point. So it's like, okay, man, if you're going to jam it, you should at least be able to get down to the swing point. Because what it all really did is that it came into the strength that we had last Tuesday, you know, and it rejected that right. level. So, you know. Yeah, if you look at GDX, too, I mean, if you look at that chart on chart three, you know, we had some big volume days up. We did. And one thing about big volume days up, they usually kill a rally on a short-term basis because, it's, it, you know, if you get too much volume all at once, it yep. kind of takes the energy out of the market right after exactly. it. Exactly. You usually get some sort of a consolidation. It takes a huge so, amount of energy to go up or to go down like that, right? That's the bottom line. Right. Yeah. 
Right. Yeah, uh, you know, it's like selling Climax is buying Climax. Yes. You want the volume to increase, but you don't want to increase too much because it, it gets, throws you in consolidation. So that, oh. yeah, but we did break, uh, you know, on that GDX chart, we did break those previous highs on higher volume. So at some point, we're going to break some new highs. Yes. To that, you Tim, know, it's increase. always a pleasure. Uh, I'm, and I will be here next Tuesday. So uh, stay tuned, folks. Tim and I will be back next Tuesday. Have a great one. Have a safe one, Tim. Thank you. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN. Educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. We have the Dow trading down 343, NASDAQ off 225, S&P's off 70. That's a downdraft out here inside the Dow Industrials of 1%, 1.8%. 4% in the S&Ps and 1.6% in the NASDAQ. If we get over and we take a look at the SPY, and let's see what we have out here. Yep, you got an expansion of volume, you're breaking the swing. The swing, we're going to have more than the swing, man. Yeah, this is going to be interesting because the swing was 90 million. You're already at 84. They'll throw a bunch of uh, uh, volume into this low into this close. So what's going to be game here is all the way where we broke out. You know, in the SPY, that's uh, that 4, uh, 425, right? Or 431. Oh, 4, 420. Well, we're down six and a half dollars. <laughs> so we can get there pretty quick. And if we take a look at the Qs, 
The Qs so far have done 62 million. You're coming into 61. Now, the Qs haven't broke yet, but what you do have, you gapped away. So you very well could just jump the creek tomorrow morning, you know, because you, you do have a huge expansion of volume. And when you come down and have simultaneously have a gap, uh, bottom line is that that's normally not the end of the deal. And particularly what we have here is that you're coming into a Friday. So what ends up happening is that if we take a look at this, you're going to have a week. Yeah, you have a, you have a down week. That's the bottom line. You know, the bottom line is that tried to get high yesterday, couldn't handle price. You know, went sideways on Monday, sideways on Tuesday, sideways to lower. Yesterday, it definitely went higher, couldn't handle it. Today, you go lower with volume, lower we go. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Thanks, folks. Have a great one. Bye-bye.